Michigan coach talks about his team bouncing back from a disappointing loss at Ohio State and pulling out a dramatic 78-69 win on Saturday. James Hawkins from left, teammates Isaiah Livers, Jordan Poole and Eli Brooks reacts to a layup scored by Xavier Simpson in the overtime, photo, Robin Buxon, Detroit News. Ann Arbor, they are searching for a path and a personality, for a way to grow up quickly. They were teetering again, and then suddenly, in an invigorating flurry of shot-making and defense, perhaps the Wolverines found something. On a day when the pregame buzz in the Chrysler Center was about the football team courting a quarterback, the basketball team might have taken a step toward identifying its own. Just when it looked dire, Michigan got a desperately needed boost from point guard Xavier Simpson and rallied past UCLA 78-69 in overtime. This is why coaches prefer a hierarchy, someone to count on when a team has to be kicked to life, then come down. John Bylian has three point guards but whittled the rotation Saturday to two, sophomore Simpson and freshman Eli Brooks. That doesn't mean transfer Jaron Simmons is out of the mix. It doesn't mean Simpson has seized command, with Brooks starting the past seven games. This showed the potential in the position, because at times the Wolverines looked lost, right before they won. They hit a paltry 8 of 22 free throws and took ill-advised shots, and with less than 15 minutes remaining, they trailed by 15 to a UCLA team that's good, certainly not great. The Bruins are out of balls, now that Liangelo Ball is off the roster, but they still have Aaron Holiday, and he was shredding the Wolverines. More, Wolverines encounter trouble at stripe against UCLA. Then Simpson re-entered and brought his feisty defense and timely shooting, and Michigan took UCLA, 7-2, apart down the stretch. Five days earlier, the Wolverines, 8-3, had blown a 20-point lead and fallen at Ohio State. They flipped the pattern and fought back in front of a raucous, yes, it got raucous, Chrysler Center crowd, which turned its attention from Mississippi transfer quarterback Shea Patterson in the stands, to an entertaining show on the floor. Junior Center talks about his team's thrilling comeback in Saturday's 78-69 victory. James Hawkins' Michigan hit 12 of its final 13 field goal attempts. Brooks nailed two free throws with 10.9 seconds left to force overtime, and then Simpson directed it from there. He drilled a three-pointer and later added a layup in traffic, and the Wolverines never trailed again. Plugged in when I got the opportunity, I just felt like we needed energy, and the crowd got engaged with me getting it pumped up, said Simpson, who finished with 15 points and four steals. The Bruins were scoring too much and the point guard sets the tone on offense and defense. I knew it'd be contagious, and it wasn't just me, the whole team played great defense. It's the delicate line a coach must straddle when a team is hunting for its identity. The Wolverines are searching for roles and resolve, integrating three freshmen Brooks, Jordan Poole, Isaiah Livers with veterans such as Moritz Wagner, 23 points, and Charles Matthews, 20 points. There's talent here but also holes, evidenced by Matthews 2-4-10 effort from the free-throw line, an area of concern all season.